Y'all, the Lakers won last night in overtime, but I got to stop doing it to myself. Game after game after game, I expect Anthony Davis to be something that he's not. Um, You know, Anthony Davis, like for real, it's, it, it, I've never seen this. I mean, it, it's mind boggling to me. One night, he can look like Tim Duncan offensively, right? He can look like Tim Duncan, KG, all them offensively one night. The next night, he looked like Kwame Brown offensively. It's really, like, puzzling to me. And I think I just probably got to get it in my head that he's just not a number one option. He's not a number one option on the team. And maybe when I get that in my head, I'll be okay. But I, I'm not, no matter of fact, I'm not going to be okay. Because there's no way that he shouldn't be the best player on his team at 30 years old with the talent that he has. Like, it shouldn't have even came down to a LeBron James driving layup, a high, like a, a layup with a high degree of difficulty, way off the top of the glass and then drops down, that is a tough shot. That was not an easy layup by a layup, an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. Glad that it went in, but they shouldn't have even been in that position last night. Anthony Davis had 12 points last night, y'all. 12. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Now, he had about five blocks, and he's been anchoring the defense with the blocks, but offensively, he should be that dude. I'm watching TNT last night, you know, the um, post-game show. And Kenny Smith was talking about, well, you know, when he came into the league, he wasn't known as an uh, offensively talented guy with all these different offensive, with this whole offensive arsenal, right? And he wasn't. Coming out of Kentucky, he was known for anchoring defenses, for sure. But when he got to New Orleans, he showed us that he had that, right? He showed us that he had a whole offensive package, that he was talented all the way around, like, he could put up 40, and some nights he can put up 50 in, in, in New Orleans. Some nights he can put up 35, 37, you know, 34, 34 and 12, and 30, I mean, 34 and 18, all that type of stuff. We, we saw he could do that. So it's not in our heads that he can be this type of player, so that's not an, that's not an excuse. Like, something got to give. LeBron James, 38 years old, had 22 points and 20 rebounds, along with seven assists, and some clutch, a clutch, a clutch, clutch basket at the end of uh, regulation and then some clutch baskets in overtime that really really mattered including son and dylan brooks little ass i say yeah i'm in the house i'm in the house the house screaming to the top of my lungs little ass boy i'm talking about dylan brooks because you know dylan brooks been talking crazy right but i'm looking like yo it shouldn't be like this with lebron at 38 years old 38 year 38 year old lebron should not be better offensively he shouldn't be more reliable offensively than 30 year old anthony davis this shouldn't be a thing, but it comes to a point that it is, you know, and if it wasn't for like the, the three point shooting of D'Angelo Russell to close out the fourth quarter. And I was so hurt when he got fouled out. I'm like, oh, my God, brother, you got to chill out and not be as aggressive because we need you in this game. But if, if it wasn't for Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, Lakers would have been in trouble. They would have lost that game. If it wasn't for Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, LeBron. They would have lost that game for sure. They had Jared Vanderbilt step up for 15 points. He ain't no double-digit score on a nightly on a nightly basis. But he ended up doing it. And I'm looking like, and they needed that to win. Hey, I'm like, hey, AD, bro. Like, come on, fam. 12 points. Like, this that shouldn't be a thing. That shouldn't be like Xavier Tillman and them had the same amount of points. That's the come on, man. That should never be the case. Like. It's, it's quite frustrating to me. Very, very frustrating, man. But, I mean, I was happy that the Lakers was able to get the win. But I'm like, man, Braun needs to be as preserved and well-rested as possible for this next game so they can hurry up and close these boys out. Because you don't want to give Memphis no type of momentum. They're going back home. They're going to be excited. They're going to be in there whoop, whoop that trick stuff. AD needs to get it together and psychologically and help the Lakers close this game out. And then on to the next series. And in the next series, they play either the Sacramento Kings or the Golden State Warriors. And with that injury to, um, to Aaron, De'Aaron Fox, it might be Golden State, man. And I'm like, yo, like, hey, they got to be on it with them. Like, ain't no, like, I'm all right and mediocre on nights with them, with them boys, with them high, the, with <laughs> them waffle colored boys shooting that rock. I was going to say them high yellow boys, but I, was, I wanted to say them waffle colored boys they got in the backcourt. Shooting it up like this. It's not going like you're it's not gonna get easier from here. 
It's not. And they're going to need Anthony Davis to be the Anthony Davis that was in New Orleans for them to be successful. And I don't know, whatever he got to do, splash water on his face. If he got to be reminded that he's from Chicago, Illinois, South Side, South Side, to be specific, I don't know. But it's just looking bad. It's looking bad. And, um, like, yo, I, I, on, nightly, on, a, on a nightly basis, I don't know if we can depend on Anthony Davis. And that's a, that's a question. That's a problem. That's a problem, man. And I'm like, yo, like, what is going on? It's just, it is very, very frustrating to see him like this. Like, like Charles Barkley said, I've never seen a player with peaks and valleys like this. One game, he could be 32 points, 31 points, 17 rebounds, 35 points, 13, 14 rebounds. Next game, he could be 11 and, and, and 10. 11, 11 points, 10 rebounds. Yo, that up and down stuff, it got to cease at some point, man. Like, him, LeBron, and Darvin Hamden, Darvin Hamden going to have to sit down and be like, okay, I don't know what it is. We got we to gotta get you going offensively. We got to get you the first five, six, seven touches to start the game to get you into some type of rhythm. We might have to do that depending on if the other team is fine, firing it up from three or not. You know what I'm saying? If they not and they we, we stay them off, we're going to have to keep just feeding you the ball in this let you get out of this funk. Let you see the ball go into the rim a few times in some type of way to get you more confident because, yo, and I'm not talking, I'm not giving a hip injury thing to him. No, no. Um, Again, he helped the Lakers have 11 blocks. <clears throat> He's been anchoring them defensively, but it's like we need him to be more than just a, a dang on, um, I don't know. We need him to be more than just, a, a Marcus Canby, uh, who another defensive guy. We need him to be more than just um, Joe King Noah type. We, we need him to be more than that. We need him to be Kevin Garnett, Anthony, um, uh, Tim Duncan offensively. We need that as well. We need, we need the defense to go along with that. And again, it's just, it's quite frustrating, man. But again, the Lakers win. They up 3-1. Try to close this game out at the FedEx Forum in Memphis and then move on to the next round <clears throat> because this team going to need some rest, including 38-year-old LeBron James. I'm looking at LeBron James. He's showing signs of mortality now. He's getting tired. He's like, he's getting winded. I'm like, yeah, man. He's getting older now. He's still a dog, as you can see. Still king me. King me. King me. You hear me? Like, it's still like that. It's still all the way like that for real, for real, for real. The Kane, K A I N G. K, I mean, K A I. <laughs> K A N G. Goddamn. Spelling this in wrong. K A N G. Still a Kane. But it shouldn't be like this for the Lakers. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be this hard fault. Look, if AD got at least 23, 24, this game not even, it don't even go to overtime. If he, least, if, he least, if he at least had 20, it wouldn't go to OT. Something got to give. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.